In particular, you want to make sure I'm not saving the best stuff for last. Uh, these guys get three main meals a day and then we'll give them enrichment feeds as well. So they're pretty big eaters. Um, these guys in total, not actually as much as you think, because all together, what do we got? Probably like 350 kilos of gorilla oil and they get 20 kilos of greens a day. They get a box of lettuce, they get five kilos, five and a half kilos of veggies. Um, eight sticks of browse, which are just like leaves on a branch and stuff like that. So in the wild, the amount of food that they'd be eating is higher, but that's because they're mostly eating browse. So really thick foliage on bark and stuff like that, which is quite nutritionally deficient actually. So that's why, you look at him, he's got a really big belly and it looks like he's just carrying around his big beer belly. But when you see it transition to chest when he turns around, right at the top it goes straight to six pack. So there's very little fat on these guys. That big belly is all just about fermentation because they're breaking down really fibrous foods. The only way you can do that is you've got to let it sit, you've got to let it rot inside you. So he's got a big sort of stomach cavity. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I feel terrible. He's definitely going to make you pay for that later. Whatever, he's 190 kilos. I think he's taken beans. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we obviously don't. We feed them a lot of browse here because it's a super natural food product for them. So, see, you really doesn't like to share. She goes for a bit of tomato or something and chases her off. Um, it's a really natural food product for them. It's really tactile. Big feed, walk around a little bit. He settles down for a midday nap. All the animals will sleep and that's where you see the young ones start playing and socializing a lot more. He'll get them up, move them around for dinner. Same thing, go down for a really big sleep. Girls and the young ones might play a little bit and then he gets them up and moving again. So yeah, not as much physical activity as you see with other great apes particularly, especially chimpanzees can be really, really active. Um, but these guys are super smart as well. So in terms of providing really good level of welfare for these guys in a captive environment, making sure they're physically active, they're providing that full natural behavioral repertoire and that they're moving around, they're foraging, they're socializing as much, really